So this week we are going to be making an optical illusion. This is called Op Art, Op as in optical. Um, it makes this kind of, when you're all done, you use a lot of shading. Um, we're going to use a black colored pencil as well as a white colored pencil to add shading to these kind of um, tubes almost that look like they're going back in space. Um, if you look at them, it looks like this one comes up towards you. And then if you look at it again, it looks like this one comes up towards you. So it gives you, it makes your brain kind of hurt when you look at this. So what you're going to do to start this is get a square piece of paper. This size is just a piece of white copy paper right out of like the computer. And it's just the edge trimmed off to make it a square. This size took me about 20 minutes. That's how long I want you guys to spend on these generally. Um, so this took me about 20 minutes. If you're a slow colorer, if you take a little more time to work, go with a smaller square. So I'm gonna show you how to make a smaller square from this paper pretty easily. All you're gonna do is take the corner and fold it up. Try to keep this edge and this edge parallel and this edge and this edge parallel, keep them even. It doesn't really matter, but it'll just make it a little easier for you to make a square. So you're gonna fold that corner up, then you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut right along the triangle. And you will have your square. So if there's a triangle, open it up, now it's a square, okay? So the next step, to start this design, um, we need to find the center. That way we can have all the tubes kind of heading to the center. So I already have the paper folded this way. So now to find the center, I'm just gonna fold it this way. And there's my center right there, okay? So I'm gonna use my colored pencil. If you're worried about making mistakes, use a regular pencil. Um, it'll erase a little easier than your colored pencil. So now what you need to do is take a ruler, any straight edge will work. You could even use the scrap of what you just cut off to make your straight lines. But all you're gonna do is start right at the center and start drawing lines right off. Kind of like the center here is the sun and you're drawing rays coming off the sun. You can do big ones, you could do little skinny ones, you could do really wide ones, however you wanna do it, you just have to do an even number. So I have one, two, three, four, five, that's an odd number. Six, that's a little too big for me, so I'm gonna do seven, that's an odd number, so I need to divide one more of these up. So I'm gonna go up here and do eight, okay? So now I know I have the right number, I have eight, so it's an even number. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our stripes. When you're drawing your stripes, you need to make an arch line, kind of a smile. Right here it looks like a smile line or a frown. Right here it looks like a frown line. So I'm going to show you how I want you to do that. So here are my little smiley faces. This guy is eh, kind of happy. This guy is very happy and this guy is pretty happy okay this is the kind of arch that we want to do we want the arch to have a good bump but we don't want it to be a huge letter U and we don't want it to be too flat so we're gonna make a whole bunch of smiles and frowns that are the same um, kind of arch all over this paper Okay, so here's what I mean. So I'm gonna do, I'll start with a smile. Smile, so I'll go line to line with a smile. Then the next one over, I'm gonna make a frown, frown. Next one, smile. Next one, frown. Next one, smile, although now the paper's folded upside down, so there we go, smile, frown, smile, frown. Okay? Then I'm going to keep going. 
and do the same thing. So this one has a smile, so I'm going to do another smile, frown, smile, frown, smile, frown, smile, frown. So this should always match. This one has a frown, so this is a frown, okay? And it looks like I can fit one more, so we'll do We'll do one more. I'm going to start right here. Ready? Smile. Frown. Now, this one's going to kind of go off the page. Can't quite see it here. So I'm going to actually just kind of, you should always have a paper underneath where you're working because in a second we're going to use a black marker. I'm going to use a Sharpie and I don't want that to go through to my table. So I'm just going to draw this like it was just extended like this and then a frown and it doesn't hit that doesn't go on the paper. So that's okay that it's off the paper. So that's right now a smile. So this one's going to be a frown and it's going to go like that. And then a smile and then a frown. I'm going to just get the edge on there. Maybe a corner there and an edge there to connect to there. Okay. So now I'm done with all my smiles and frowns. That'll take you a second to do. And then I'm going to mark them. So I'm going to go into this center one that we already did, and I'm just going to mark them with B's. B is for black. Or if you want to do this with color, if you wanted to use like a pink marker, you could certainly use a pink mark, blue marker, orange marker, whatever color you want. But I'm just going to mark it with B for black. So I'm going to do a B, skip one, B, skip one, B skip one, B, skip one. Okay, so now they're, every other one is marked. Now I'm going to go out the tubes and mark them. So I'm going to start with this one. This one's B, skip it, B. This one's not marked, so that's going to be white. So this one's going to be black, white, black. This one's black, this one's white, black, white white, black, white, nothing. Black, white, black, white. White, black, white, black. So you can see the ones that are right next to each other are gonna always be opposite. So this one's black, white, black, white, black, white, Okay, so at this point I have each little space marked if I'm going to color it black or if I'm going to leave it white. Okay, now I can take my Sharpie and I can, or whatever black marker you're going to use, and I can start coloring these in. So I'm just going to start right here. Also, this might be a good spot to pause. To refer back to as you're getting your bees marked in just to make sure that you have them all in the right order so it's kind of like a checkerboard just in a weird way okay so I'm just gonna go through and color all these bee shapes black okay and it's gonna take a little while to do and just be careful while you go Try to stay inside the lines that you made, but if you go outside a little bit, it's not a big deal. Like this, okay? And when you're all done, the whole thing will be a black and white checkerboard, but in this kind of tube shape that goes down to the center of your paper. So I just wanna show you one more thing on this paper now before I show you the final step on the next paper, okay? So here we go. So 
The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your black and white. Um, either crayon or colored pencil will work for this. You're going to be shading. Now when you're shading, you want to create what we call value. Value is a range from dark to light. And it's good to practice this on another piece of paper because it takes a little practice just to get used to how this, how this kind of goes. So what I'm doing on this end is I'm pressing down hard with my colored pencil. And as I go, I'm just lightening up my grip and how hard I'm pressing a little by little and just lightening, 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 lightening until I'm barely making a mark. And this is called a value scale. So dark, pretty dark, medium, medium light, gets really light, and then it turns to white. So that's a value scale. We're gonna do that with our black colored pencil on all our white spots. So I'm gonna take my black colored pencil and in the corner I'm gonna go dark. And then I'm just gonna lighten up as I get to the center. And then on this end, I'm gonna go dark as well. Lighten up till I get to the center. And I'm gonna do that on all the white shapes. So I'm just gonna do dark on the edges, light in the center. Dark on the edge, get lighter in the center. These little guys down here, dark on the edge, get a little lighter. Dark on the edge, get a little lighter to the center. Okay, so this is gonna be what makes it look three-dimensional. This is what's gonna trick your eye with this optical illusion. So we wanna go really dark at the edge and then lighter as we get to the center of the white dark on the edge, and then lighter as you get to the center of the white. Okay, see how that works? Then you're gonna do the same thing with the white, but on the black spots, and you're actually gonna work backwards. So you're gonna start in the center, and you wanna make it as light as you can, and then just go lighter with your um, grip so the white kind of trails off as you go to the edges of the black. And this is gonna make the black look shiny. And if I go at the very end with a real, press down really hard with the white, it makes it look three-dimensional and it makes it look shiny right in the center. So I'm gonna do that again. So right in the center of the black, I'm gonna press down hard with the white and then go lighter and lighter as I get to the edges. And then I'm gonna press down really hard in the middle. So I get a shine like that. So you can see right here, I have to do this one, this one last tube. So I'm gonna do, I'll do the white first. I'm gonna do the white in the center of the black pieces and then press down really hard just to get that shine in the center. White in the center. And these, as the um, black shapes get bigger, your white space will get bigger too. I'm gonna press down really hard in the center of that white just to give it a good shine, like that. This one too. Then I just have to finish with my black. So you're gonna go dark on your edges and then go lighter, lighter, lighter to the center. Black on the edges lighter, lighter, lighter to the center of that white. This is already done. Black on the edges, lighter, lighter, lighter to the center. And this is a great project to practice your shading. So you can see this one is now all done. I have each black shape is white in the center and I went back and just kind of pressed down a little harder on all those centers to make it look really shiny. And then all the white spaces have the black on the edges to make it look like it's rounded, right? So I want you to practice this. You can do little ones, you can do bigger ones. Take your time with it and see how it comes out. I'd love to see them, so send them to me in an email if you 
if you get a chance to. Have fun!